Danardanan Kuilan Guru is a spiritual healer and teacher with an in-depth knowledge of astrology, palmistry, numerology, etc. This spiritual guru's interest and proficiency ranges from various areas of spirituality to alternative healing. Emphasis is mainly on juice therapy, acupressure, breathing and spiritual healing techniques. Uh, see, there are different types of healing actually. See, generally people have idea about Reiki. Most anybody can do Reiki healing. The healing which I do, it is called spiritual healing. This particular healing is only done by people who has attained the Maharshihood or who have raised the Kundalini and gone to the highest stage of Nirvana. Such people, they get the power of one Ashtasiddhi actually. In that Ashtasiddhi, if you have or if you opt for the power of removing health problem from people, then that power is given to you. With that power, you can pull out the disease or it is called the negative energy. Actually, the Kundalini energy has got highest level of energy that E is equal to mc square when you raise the kundalini you have got highest energy flowing from your body system that energy you can use it to remove the negative energy or the disease from the body this cannot be practiced by general public you have to go under a guru and practice the kundalini meditation and attain the highest stage then and also another important thing is you should have the love to the people. With love only you can remove the disease. With love the resistance of the body becomes zero. The patient has practically zero resistance means the current flowing from the body will be infinite. I means V by R. R becomes zero means the intensity of the current flowing from your system to the patient body becomes very high. Generally, that time the patient will have no health problem actually. Of course, the patients, all the discs are pulled to your system. You have got high energy, so it does not affect you. In due course, you can throw out the negative energy after some time actually. So, spiritual healing is only done by higher level of people or who has attained the highest stage of meditation. General public, we tell to do Reiki only, but uh, the spiritual people, this who has attained, when they heal, they activate many energy systems in their body. So the people who has undergone healing also, they can also heal others at a higher level. Uh, see, doctors treat uh, body, but mind is also important for anybody. And there are so many things, non-physical aspect of the body. Generally, the missions are designed to look to the physical parameters like uh, body fault but uh, non-physical parameters like uh, hatred, fear, love these things the equipments cannot uh, test or equipment cannot trace or not they cannot record but these are all very important for human body so unless and until that is also not uh, sorted out the patient never become all right. See the uh, example, prostate gland problem causes physical problem like urinary, but uh, it has got the other side fear. The fear causes the muscles to become weak and you will have no urinary control. The other side of the fear is the heart becomes weak. Then the heart become weak means then your pumping of blood will be less to the brain or the flow rate goes down and this even if when it is less the medical test does not show properly so the ultimate result is the blood which is going to the brain get reduced level and the brain controls body major functions then what happens the brain control of other body parts get reduced example kidney and other leg parameters, all these things get less blood supply and l less instruction of working, which creates a weakness in the system actually. 
So the non-physical aspect of fear is causing lot of problem to the body. Then another aspect of fear is uh, you know you will have some high anxiety level actually. You keep two leg ahead, one uh, then you will feel it is not correct. Then you will keep instead of going continuously, you will back trace two leg front instead of then you will keep one leg back. So your progress is reduced and too much doubt and which causes again major problem. So all these things are not decided by the medical equipments. So these parameters are very important to for making any decision of the patient. But in healing all these things are removed, all this negative. When you clear the fault in Swadhisthana Chakra, the fear goes away and the patient becomes peaceful. And also the Swadhisthana causes subconscious mind to open at the night and which causes a disturbance in sleep pattern. So the patient may not be knowing actually why it is happening because it's a non-physical. And then sometimes he goes to the previous birth conditions which actually creates problem because some of the fearful dreams and all that comes. So when Swadhisthana is cleared, all this fault level is cleared and the patient become very peaceful. When he is peaceful, then his progress become more good. See, there are two types of disease. One is visible diseases. When you go for checkup, you will see it. Like scanning MRI, you will see it. There is other one is invisible disease. When you check up, it will not see. See, you have got severe headache. You have gone for MRI, but you are you can't see it. But you have got fault actually. So these are invisible disease which stays in the aura or in the astral body. The disease stays in the astral body and it starts eating your system. But it will not be seen in any physical checkup, but the patient suffers. And a stage it comes when the fault in the astral body or in the aura, aura enters the body. That time you go for checkup, it will be seen. But that time even the cancer may be at fourth stage. So you have got less time to cure. So many of the major diseases stays in astral body. And also they are very clever. They remove the senses of the body. Once the senses is there only, you will have identification that such fault is there. Even the headache, for some patients, headache, pain, nothing will be there. But the brain tumor is may be growing actually. Even it may be malicious also. So the powerful diseases are very, very intelligent to remove the senses actually. A body should be 80% alkaline. But our body is now 80% acidic because we take all wrong food. Most of the food we take are acidic, which causes major problem. See, the acidity causes ulcer or in the stomach, which finally nowadays come to cancer actually. And it does not show initially. At the last stage when, it, when you have got blood going out from the mouth or stool, then only you identify that you have got ulcer at last stage actually. So this become very serious. And the major, uh, we take wrong food like achar, boy, uh, spied things, puppet, all these things are acidic. And the fruits also, some of the fruits are highly acidic, which we take more. So all these things causes our body to become acidic. In the acidic body only, the disease grows. This cancer actually grows in the acidic body. If our body is 80% alkaline, the cells cannot grow like that actually.